The old salt miner here. And I'm getting ready to convert my wire welder into a MIG, a gas MIG. I've been running flux core for since since I got it. It's a Lincoln Weld Pack 100. I've had it for several years. And uh, it's really going to be simple to do. Um, the only thing I have to do that is uh, put in a solenoid valve. I've already got the tank and I've got the uh, regulator. Got it from Harbor Freight. And I've, this happens to be the, a type that can be converted. And I know that because it's kind of hard to see, but right in there, clear back up in there, right there, is a place to put a hose. And so that means you can convert it. The problem is the conversion kit from Lincoln's like 150 to 200 bucks. And uh, I don't want to spend that. So I'm going to do this conversion for about $50. And I'll show you how. So a conversion kit consists of a regulator. And I got that regulator. I uh, caught it on sale at Harbor Freight for like 28 bucks. Um, a solenoid valve, some hose, a couple of fittings. You do have to drill a few holes in the um, welder, uh, mainly to facilitate bolting this down and running one of these barbs out the back. So you can hook a hose into it and run the hose up to the regulator. <clears throat> then on the inside, you run a hose from the other side from the other side um, through to the uh, to the wire side where the wire motor is and hook it onto that little stem I showed you earlier I'll try to get a better picture of that So one of the first things I had to do before I even got started buying anything was pull out the old wiring diagram for the welder. And that's in my book that came with it. And if you look right up here in this corner, it says for this welder, there's the H1 and H2 are the connections for the gas solenoid that thing and it says 115 volts so I bought one and it says right there 110 volts two wires coming out I have to put stake ons on because what those are are the male stake ons and then I have, to, I have to put females on the wires. Now, you got to know this because there are 12 volters, there are 24 volters, there are 40 volters, all kinds of different solenoids. You got to know which one to buy. I think I gave $12 for that one. On eBay so here we are back at the old Lincoln and I took eight bolts out there they are in my magnetic dish thank you Harbor Freight it was free and we'll take this off and there are the guts to the welder a lot of stuff in there but what we're interested in is where we can drill a hole through back here they've already got a hole right there that we can run the tube through 
I think that's where I run it. I'm not 100% sure yet, but probably in that area somewhere. And then the critical part, if I can get some light on it. It's clear back there. So it got lit up. It says Soul H1 and H2. See them? That's what I got to stake those two yellow wires onto to make the solenoid work. It's actually going to be pretty simple. All right. I'm going to fit the uh, solenoid in here and figure out where I want the hole next. Okay, so here's the solenoid. If you look, there's an arrow, so it's going to have to set this way, somewhere down in here. And the wires are have to reach over there. I can't put it this way because of the arrow. It has to be going that way. It's a one-way type thing. And it has to be rather low. Or it's going to be sticking out the top. You don't want that. It's going to be at least this low. Yeah. And then one other thing. On the bottom are two mounting screws. So I'm going to have to put like a piece of angle down there to hold it and I'm getting down there real close getting tight things are getting tight quick get down there that black box down there is the breaker that kicks out when it gets over temperature which happens a lot because this is a 110 volt welder and uh, it it uh, it really doesn't, uh, only I think 20%. So you spend 80% of the time waiting for it to cool off. But nonetheless, it welds pretty good. So now I gotta find a piece of angle. So I built this little metal bracket to fit on the bottom of here. And I started messing around with trying to fit it in here. Now I was filling around, trying to figure out that way I'll go at an angle, something like that. And then I looked back in the back and I saw that metal or that plastic plug sticking through there in those two holes. And then it dawned on me, yeah, they Lincoln made this welder so you could convert it to gas at some point. And there's a plug right there see right there and uh, I could pop that out and that's where the where the solenoid will poke out and the two holes are where you bolt it on so I think it's already figured out and all I have to do is bolt that baby in there okay so I got it mounted I got the solenoid valve mounted back there in the back I got the hose ran and it runs underneath there and through that hole and it sticks out the back and it runs up to the gas bottle and I've got the regulator on the gas bottle um, the hose runs through there and then it runs through the hole there and then it runs down and hooks in there and so now all I have to do is put the wire in and turn the gas on and weld I'll have to turn the knob up. It has to be, I think, 
30 liters. 30 liters a minute, I believe. I have to look that up. Okay, so here's the welder all set up. All done. Gonna weld a little bit on that. Turn my gas on. That's an ugly weld. 